Hello guys and welcome back to the Crazy Minecraft video where today Minecraft and his zombie has gone ahead and invited us to this awesome village where it seems like one of the villagers has gone ahead and started to build a very unusual structure which is usually very alarming. I have a feeling he's going ahead and trying to prepare for some weird natural disaster. So let's go and see what's going on. Villager, is everything okay? Is there anything we can help with? I have a feeling he's a little bit confused. Hello Naveed, we are glad you arrived. You caught us in the middle of building our bunker. There is a giant zombie tsunami heading towards our village and we are running out of time in building a safe house. Could you help us finish our project? Wait, what do you mean there's a zombie tsunami heading our way? <laughs> okay, I don't think I want to get involved with this. But I also have a feeling if we don't help them out, a lot of villagers could go ahead and lose their lives. Do you know what? I'm gonna help them. Let's go ahead and see what's inside the chest and hopefully should be everything we need. Whoa! Okay, they've given us every single supply we need as long as loads of furniture and then loads of weapons. Do you know what, villager? I'm definitely looking forward to this. But guys, before we get started, I do want to give a shout out to Steven as well as Mandy for being members of this wonderful channel. If you guys want to get a shout out as well, all you gotta do is go ahead Press the join button below and very soon you'll get your very own shout out. As well guys, the majority of you aren't subscribed yet, so head down below as well and press the red subscribe button along with the notifications bell. Well villager, let's get going. I'm going to start off by taking out all these blocks of iron, every single one of these glass blocks, the ladder as well as the bunker doors. I might start with building the bunker doors right in the middle, and perfect, and then I'm going to surround it with loads of iron blocks, covering up all these skulls and all of these scary construction blocks. I have a feeling once we do this, we're almost done. We've just got to add furniture and everything cosmetic, which is going to be a great idea. Now one thing I do need to figure out is where are we going to put all the glass. I do want to see this zombie tsunami heading our way. I don't want to be completely oblivious to whatever's going on. So let me go ahead and add a little floor area. And perfect. And hopefully this is going to be good enough so we can add everything else. There we go. And perfect. And awesome. I do have a feeling that once we finish, we are going to be bombarded with loads of villagers trying to enter this structure, which is going to be super scary. But I think I'm going to have to prepare myself mentally for this crazy battle. And then afterwards, we can go ahead and fight off loads of different types of zombies that are going to be inside this giant tsunami. I am a little bit worried that we might not be ready for that part. Well, guys, I'm super excited to tell you that I've almost finished with the bottom part of this bunker. Hopefully it's not too small down here and we can go ahead and add a lot of things. They have given us almost everything we need. I'm going to add these two ladders right there and perfect. And let's not forget to go ahead and sort out this little section here, which I'm thinking might have to actually be raised. So let's just do this right around here and hopefully this can confuse a few more zombies of ours. There we go. And perfect. And I do think some of the zombies are going to be super confused at whatever's we're doing. There we go. And perfect. Well, villagers, what do you think? When you walk in, you are going to have to go up one of these steps. Just because if we don't do it like this, we're not going to have enough space down below to even stand up. So it's going to be a waste of space. So let me just go ahead and finish this off and we should be good. And guys, I do want to just go ahead and make the first floor completely made out of glass. I am hoping this glass is going to be strong enough to protect us against every single mob. But I do want to see what type of mobs are going to be inside the tsunami. So doing this is definitely going to be a great idea. But guys, because I know we only have a couple more minutes, I'm going to go ahead and just finish this off real quick and I'll be back in a couple seconds. Well, here we have it, and I think it looks awesome. If I quickly show you around, you'll be able to see exactly what I mean by actually raising this ground. I did add a ladder as well as some fences on the top floor, so we can pretty much shoot off all the zombies and everything, and hopefully we can survive the tsunami, and it shouldn't reach that level. And then if we go down to the bunker down below, there should be enough space now to walk around and add some wonderful furniture and everything else we could need. So talking about furniture, Let's go ahead and check the chest to see what we can take out. Okay, I'm going to try and fill up my whole inventory with this first few rows. And perfect. And I think I've got exactly what I want to do. So right down below, I want to have the little store food. We can put all our carrots as well as our other vegetables, which is right here. And perfect. As well as potatoes, our apples, our golden apples, and then our red apples. So we should have enough vegetables and fruit to keep us very safe. And let me not forget to go ahead and add some of the potions, some of the chalkboards, and the archive boxes to keep all the information of all the villagers super safe. 
and perfect. And let me just add these around there, just in case we'll need them later on. There we go, and perfect. And I'm also guessing on the next floor up, I could go ahead and add the furnace, as well as the chest, and then right above it, the crafting table. And then we only have a few more items to go ahead and do until the tsunami is going to head our way. So we have to be really careful. Let me add a baby bottle here, a baby bottle up above, as well as all the beddings around here. I'm going to do one and two. We have bedside cabinets right beside them. And then another bed right here with the next one right there. Perfect. Hopefully this isn't going to confuse too many of the villagers. Let me also add some lamps right above them all just so everyone can have a light for themselves. And then finally, I might have to add the table up above. Yep, that's going to be a good spot. Let's go and do it. Villager, how long do we have? I have a feeling this tsunami is going to be in our direction at any moment. Let me just add a table and some chairs. And perfect. And then some toys just scattered around the whole place purely because you never know what could happen. There we go. And perfect. The final thing we're going to have to go ahead and do is the weapons. So let's take them out. Villager, I don't need these stairs. Go ahead and call all your friends because the tsunami is about to head our way. So guys, let's do this. Villagers, get inside. It's going to be mental. Well, I think we've done it. We've gone ahead, built the bunker, and pretty much got most of the villagers to go ahead and join us. So we've got quite a few villagers up above, a few others deciding where they're going to sleep, and then I think down below we've already got some villagers eating. Hey, you guys are going to stop that. Those potions aren't for you. And I can see as well some villagers going ahead and planning on the chalkboard what they want to do. Well, I think this is one of the best bunkers we've built in forever. Well guys, let's go and do this. Let's go and make sure this is completely safe because I do think the tsunami is heading our way. Villagers, prepare for impact! I do hope the villagers don't plan to leave anytime soon. Wait, my bad! Okay, what's he doing leaving? I think he's already fed up thinking it's not gonna happen. Wait, what's that coming towards us? No! It's the zombie tsunami! Okay, I don't think this is very good. I can see we have loads of zombies heading our way. But I'm not really sure what to do. This is the biggest tsunami I've ever seen. Everyone, get inside! Raise the alarm! This is one of the biggest monsters I've ever experienced. No! Don't leave! Don't leave! There we go. Okay, let's head up to the top and let's go see what's going on. Whoa! I haven't seen this many zombies in forever. And I do think it might just reach the top, which is going to be a crazy thing for us. I can see they're all fully protected, which is very unusual. Seeing so many monsters with diamond gear. Okay, I might have to start killing them and hopefully we should be able to destroy them. Yes, I think it's working. No, and it's going ahead and destroying our blocks, which is not good whatsoever. Everyone, stay away from the glass. It's going ahead and trying to change the texture. I think what's going on is that all of this toxic waste is trying to mutate all our blocks. And slowly by slowly, they're starting to break their way in. Okay, let's keep going. And I think we should be able to survive this if we keep on going and destroying some of these zombies. There we go. Yes, it's working. Ah, and gross. I can't see all the disgusting zombie blood everywhere. Okay, I might have to shoot some grenades. Let's go. Yes, <laughs> I think it's working. But one of the craziest things is, is that I don't know how far the tsunami is going to reach. So as long as we keep on trying, I think we should be able to do this. Thankfully as well, I don't see any baby zombies, so that's not going to be a problem for us whatsoever. Keep going. Yes. Okay, let's head down and let's go see how everyone else is doing. Villagers, are you all doing okay? I just really hope it's not going to breach through. Wait, why is it coming through? No, this can't be good. Everyone, try and be super careful right now. I have a feeling it's slowly by slowly starting to break some of the glass. I think we're just going to try our hardest to stay away. Ah, this is not good. Everyone, I need some blocks. <laughs> no, it's breaching through. Everyone, get up above. This is not good whatsoever. I'm pretty sure once it touches us, we might be poisoned. Let's go have a quick look. Yep, this is not good. Everyone up. It's going ahead and giving us loads of hunger, which is going to destroy us completely. No, they're completely inside. Okay, this is turning out to be such a crazy day. Let me try and destroy at least a few of these guys. And hopefully I can save some of the villagers that can reach the top. Keep going. No, this is mental. Guys, I don't think we're going to survive this ourselves. I can't see these zombies slowly by slowly trying to break their way through. And hunger is getting the best of us. No, we're not going to be able to make it. 
maybe I can go ahead and just kill as many zombies as we can so the next village can have a better chance. Let's keep going. And perfect. I think the only thing left now to do is go ahead and charge at them and see what actually happens. There we go. Let's go and see if we can actually destroy as many as we can before they go ahead and attack us as well. No! <laughs> They're absolutely everywhere. Can you believe it? But it all seems like they are trying to go towards the villagers first. Let's try and use these weapons as much as we can. Ah, oh, this is crazy. Well, guys, I don't think we're going to be able to survive this whatsoever because as soon as we spawn, we spawn back inside this toxic waste. Which is definitely not good whatsoever. So guys, I will see you soon in the crazy Minecraft video. And don't forget to like this video, subscribe down below, button is red, and don't forget to go ahead and press the notifications bell. And guys, I'll see you very soon. Peace out.